Hey guys, welcome back to the Crypto Explorer channel. Today we're taking a look at Rehold, a very interesting Web3 application, I would say. Right now, what they're offering is super high APRs, very close to 1% a day. And basically, they're offering you to get that through their staking plans. They have two staking plans so far. At the moment I'm doing this video, you can choose from two 12-hour plans or from 24-hour plan. Overall, very short time frames on those staking plans. When it comes to safety, they're audited by Certic with a really nice score of 86 points. And I believe they're also audited by PackShield. Let me check that. And yes, here it is, the PackShield audit for Rehold. This was done March the 3rd of 2023. You can check that yourself from their docs. I will leave a link for their docs down under in the description if you want to check it out. And there's also the Certic audit with overall 89.14 points score. No critical issues, one major and two minor. The major one was acknowledged, but so far it has not been resolved. Two minors have been resolved and one informational which is acknowledged. That's that when it comes to safety, but in DeFi things happen all the time, hacks, exploits, so have that in mind. Now let's jump in on what they are offering because it's very straightforward. I really like it. It also uses liquidity pools, which I also really like. So I think overall it's a really cool option, especially if you're a newcomer to DeFi. This is a very simple application to handle and the learning curve will be very low. So let's get to it. Guys, before digging more into it, this is the moment where I ask you to like, subscribe, join the Crypto Explorer community. We're all about sharing this type of information with you guys, liquidity pools, anything that is going to be helpful through your crypto journeys. Now let's take a look at what they're offering. To get started, let me just frame in that they operate with nine different blockchains. This is very important because all of these blockchains, overall, all of them offer a ton of volume. Because volume generates fees, fees generates revenue, and that's how these pairs are providing you the yields, are giving you these juicy, juicy APRs. So what you need to take a look at is that usually when you stake your funds in crypto, you're going to get yearly payouts of 5%, 10%. They offer you an APR of very close to 1% on the higher end. Once you launch the app, this is what you're looking at. So you connect your wallet, you select the chain that you want to go in with. So let's go here with the pairs on Binance, but you can sort it out for yourself if you have this quick choice icons here, if you want to sort it out, for example, let's choose the ones with Bitcoin. It's going to give you all the pairs that Bitcoin is involved with, although it's not showing uh, any stable coin paired with Bitcoin. I know those exist, so if you want to go and check that out, if you click on, for example, USDT, I'm pretty sure there's going to be Bitcoin paired here with USDT. So yeah, here we have it, BTC, B paired with USDT. So sometimes if you don't find the specific token that you're wanting to deposit with, check all of these filters. But you can also go ahead, click on the magnifying glass and input manually the name of the pair that you want to invest in or take a look at at least. And after you choose a pair, this is what's going to happen. Let me use Bitcoin as a, an example because if you haven't noticed, I like Bitcoin a lot. So let's choose Bitcoin paired with USDT. And by the way, if you are new to crypto, to DeFi, I would highly advise you, although this is not financial advice, this is just my own experience, and you might find a bit wary of pairing your blue chip asset with another volatile token because of impermanent loss as you should obviously because those hard earned bitcoins are getting more valuable and valuable as days go by but that's not the topic on this video so what i want to share with you is that if you're pairing blue chip assets with something else check the correlation but highly likely if you pair it with a stable coin you will keep impermanent loss much more at bay than you would if you would be pairing it with another volatile asset, okay? That's more of a side note, but I'd like to share this info, especially if someone new to this space is watching the video. But once you choose your pair of choice, you will see that you have the two staking plans. There's 12 hours, there's 24 hours. So with this type of APRs, you can expect after a week's worth of time using Rehold to get as much APR in that same week than you would by staking a single asset 
in a pool for a whole year. Although arguably here you'll incur in a higher risk. And that's why I'm showing you specifically this pair, Bitcoin paired with a stable coin, because when you get in, that's going to be your entry price. And the outcome of your rewards will be paid depending on how the price went up or down. So let's say you got in with a specific price at Bitcoin of, let's say, $50,000. And then your staking plan came to an end. The diagram sh shows it perfectly. So if the close price is above the entry price, you'll get your profits paid in what they call the quote ticker. So the profits going to be paid alongside with your investment in fully 100% USDT. Now, after closing, if the price is lower than your entry price, in that case, you'll get paid fully in Bitcoin, including the profits. And this is the investment price of BTCB, so it's 0.852. And then if after 24 hours, the price of Bitcoin would be below my entry price, I would get 8.5. 557. So there's going to be a profit when it comes to the Bitcoin amount that I'm getting. Now this is the worst case scenario because if you want to sell Bitcoin at that moment, although you have more Bitcoin, you'll be selling at a loss because it's worth less than your entry price. That would be the worst case scenario. But hey, in that case, hold. Wait for the price of Bitcoin to go up. That's how I like to look at it, even when I'm providing liquidity myself with the Bitcoin pair. If I want to close my position when the price of Bitcoin goes down, I get paid fully in Bitcoin, so I'm just basically buying the dip. That's how I like to see it. And from my understanding, that's exactly what they're doing here. They're taking your investment, they're providing liquidity with it, fees are being generated, those fees will be going to pay you and that's how they can come up with a profit. Even when the price of Bitcoin goes down, you get to accumulate more Bitcoin. But of course, this is true for any pair that they have here. I just like to use Bitcoin as an example and I'm constantly looking for options to earn more Bitcoin. And this happens to be something that I was already doing. So I'm very comfortable if they do it for me because there's also going to be a couple of cool options here like for example you have the auto replay button this will allow you to keep on restaking when your staking period comes to an end so you don't have to check on rehold every 24 hours or every 12 hours to do it yourself manually limit dual is going to be a bit more for advanced users so if you're new to this type of things you can get comfortable with the auto replay and doing the basic options and leave limit dual for another time when you getting more experience and you want to just maximize your knowledge from the markets or be a bit more risky and predict the markets yourself you can also toggle here so you can buy in with either bitcoin or usdt whatever tokens are in the pair that you're looking at and basically that's all about it if the price closes above your entry price you get paid profits included in the quote ticker in this case usdt if price is down your entry price and it closes that way you'll get paid fully in bitcoin profits included now they also have a swap function here which is super handy because they're operating with a lot of different chains a lot of different tokens so if you want to swap your funds here in-house they have it for you you can also on-ramp crypto with fiat they have a tremendous selection of fiat currencies across the world so if you want to on-ramp crypto straight ahead with rehold and start investing you can do that and if you do it buy swap invest in duals you are already getting to accumulate the ready tokens which they will be doing an airdrop of in the future so let's take a look at that before wrapping up the video now you have a daily quest which is just logging yourself in connecting your wallet and claiming your 200 ready daily that will already start accumulating counting for the airdrop you can invite friends and get 30 percent out of their ready you'll get a welcome bonus you'll you'll get whenever you select the dual investment you will also get a bonus so you see 20 ready for each dollar that you use with that function swap the same thing you get 10 ready for every dollar that you use in the swap there's also galaxy and gnomis which are partnerships they're doing 
which will allow you to accumulate more points, more ready points. And then the referral program has a five level referral, which just means that if your friend brings more friends, up to five levels, you'll get uh, rewards from all of those. And this is it about Rehold, guys. The duals options are very straightforward. That's what I like about it. And by the way, if you're watching and have used the protocol yourself before, let us know down in the comments what was your experience. I'm very curious to hear from you guys. I can also share my own experiences with Rehold on a different video. If you want to check it out for yourself, I'll leave a link down below. It's going to be my referral link. Highly appreciated if you follow it. If not, all good. Thank you for watching still. I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you for watching. Take care. You know how crazy crypto can get. And I'll see you on the next one.